Yo guys, what's up? It's Fighter Pilot here, and today I'd just like to kind of take a minute and emotionally decompress, de-stress, and talk about like an emotional issue I've been facing for the past few years. This is just meant to be like a personal reflection, I just needed to get it out and write it down, and I wanted to do a video about it just as a kind of like a personal discussion kind of. It's not really intended to go towards anybody or be a particular lesson or anything like that, but I just needed an opportunity to decompress. So if you're not interested in something like this, I get it. This is more for me than for anybody else, so no worries there. So part of who I am in general is I need very little relaxation time. Generally on the weekends, after sleeping in for a couple hours and you know having a couple hours of just minding my own business, watching some TikTok or YouTube or something, I'm ready to like do something again. It's generally hard for me to stay still, especially on a whole long day of doing nothing. And so days off for me are often not very good. Generally I start getting frustrated and then after that I get like this sensation of extreme annoyance inside where I just feel like extremely uncomfortable from the inside out basically is the best way to describe it. I just feel like I need to be doing something and sitting there on my ass doesn't really give me any anything to do so I just get stressed out and I start feeling extremely annoyed. After I have this I generally start to fall into like a very dark like sadness or depression for the rest of the day before I eventually just go to bed and after that the day's over and it's time to move on. But for that time, it generally creates a huge hard drive for me to find something to do. And I end up feeling like I'm never satisfied 9 times out of 10. And this isn't like a material requirement or a money related thing. I don't feel like I need the newest car, I need to go out and get a house, or I need to have millions of dollars in the bank account. I'm not driven by those factors, but it's just like an inside of me something always needs to be done. I always need to be doing something more, whether it be more work or you know stuff around the house, just something additional than just chilling and relaxing. And generally I need to get that feeling of progression, so I need to be doing something that obviously like improves my life, whether it be financially or otherwise. Sometimes even something as simple as just doing all the chores I need to do will help me with this. And I generally have a naturally hard drive to be doing more anyways, so all this emotional turmoil stuff just kind of compounds it and makes my life a little bit more difficult. It almost feels like an infinite search. So I moved out here, I have a stable job now, but it's only 410s. And so on the days I'm off I end up having hours and hours that are wasted, and it very rarely feels like a fulfilling day. And the schedule is a little bit random, but we end up getting a consecutive three days off every three weeks. And on those three days, by the second day, I generally feel like extremely stressed. This stress causes me to find more things or to try to dream up something. I start spitballing ideas usually where I look for another job or I try to create something else or I just try to find like, not like a different occupation, but I end up trying to find like something I can do on the side nonstop. And after I do this, I often get hit with this like wave of no, that's how I describe it. I start thinking and it kind of turns out that all my ideas aren't really practical or they won't line up with how I work or work out in general, they just won't be like a good idea. And then even if I start making plans and following them, generally I'll start to feel demotivated about that idea before the end of the day or I'll forget what I really wanted to do and it starts to loop over again where I start getting stressed out, I find new ideas and then I'm hit with this wave of no again. And this generally happens after I have huge creative bursts. Like I said, I start looking for things to do, and so I come up with this great idea, and explosions of ideas even, and adrenaline, and I'm rushed, and I'm excited about things I want to do, and things I could create. And so I start working on it a little bit, but before the end of the day, or by the time I start doing it again, I hit this brick wall of nose again. This is something that's been reflected in this channel even, because as if you look back at the history, there's often times where I'll stop uploading, start uploading again, stop uploading, start uploading again, and those trends pretty much follow exactly when I've had these huge moments of idea bursts that have hit huge walls of no where I haven't done them. And for me, this tends to create a lot of inner suffering. I have a friend that will probably see this, and he's always harping on me for working myself to death. Like, always. He's always telling me about how I need to quit, or I should just relax a little bit more. And he's probably right, it's probably true. But I need something to fill this void of time that's fulfilling. If I don't, I almost always start to feel this physical and emotional pain, since I just have that natural drive as it is, and it's just the, the process I mentioned above repeats. I don't really know why this is. The friend I was talking about has made comments before about how I'm addicted to this working lifestyle. I don't really think that's it. I don't feel like I'm addicted to this like workaholic or I'm addicted to success. There's not really something I can easily identify that causes this cycle. I don't really have childhood related trauma to it. I was never forced to push myself to extremes or anything like that. Generally just I guess all through my life as far back as I can remember, even as a little kid I was always pushing myself to do better, you know. In class we had these these things like the charts on the walls that you had to move your name up on or we had I had a couple classes where we would be self managers and basically if we showed that we were successful in our, and we could manage our own time and stuff we'd get to be self managers and the teacher would lay off our back and so I was always pushing myself to do a little bit better and go a little bit farther and do something else so I could always be at the top of that list so I had like positive benefits from that but it wasn't driven like that didn't cause me to be this way I was that way before I hit that. While in the making of this, I kind of started to realize what the wall of nose was caused by, and a lot of it was a realization that I was letting fear hold me back. 
specifically fears about how I'd be perceived socially or if my ideas would succeed and my path would grow. I know these are mostly out of my control and don't generally matter, but they're things that I didn't even realize was holding me back until I actually wrote, sat down and wrote this. I kind of realized that I'm trying to change what I do or what I say or who I am for the videos specifically or ideas that I have to fit more people and it starts to create a conflict inside of me because I, it's not exactly what I want to do but it's what I feel like I should do and so it stops me from creating what I want to do. And that's the wall of no's because after that I go back to the same cycle of well what if I try this instead I get excited about it but it doesn't really resonate with what I actually want. I'll have to do some more thinking and processing on this and try to develop a, a good way to manage it so I can actually progress and get over this issues that I've been having but still do it in like a healthy way. Overall, I just needed to put this out there. Something I've learned about myself is writing ideas out personally helps me process things and understand the deeper parts of the situation I might not, like I mentioned just barely about the fears holding me back. And I like to be able to share it with people because it gives me different ideas, they can give me different insight, as well as if anyone else is going through the same thing, maybe they'll help them kind of understand why they're doing it. I think in general people need to talk about their emotions a little bit more openly, and this is something that I was never really necessarily planned to do, but I just sat down this morning and started writing this script out because I was feeling this way, and I was frustrated and I just wanted to get it out of my system, and it ended up being a very positive experience for me, I think. So that's basically it, I just wanted to discuss this issue. If you actually watched through this whole thing, thank you so much. It means a lot, and especially on some touchy subjects like this, um, comments and stuff are always greatly appreciated. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. As always, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.